Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at illustrative math for sixth grade. This is unit two, lesson 15, part, part, whole ratios. The objective states, I can solve problems when I know a ratio and a total amount. This is activity 15.3, sneakers, chicken, and fruit juice. Solve each of the following problems and show your thinking. If you get stuck, consider drawing a tape diagram to represent the situation. Number one says, the ratio of students wearing sneakers to those wearing boots is five to six. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a tape diagram of this. So we have uh, sneakers and boots. So I have five sneakers. So I'm going to draw five rectangles to represent the number of sneakers. And then I have six boots. So if I have five sneakers and six boots together, I have 11 shoes. I want to see what it looks like if there are 33 students in the class. How many students would be in sneakers and how many would be in boots? So I'm going to take that total 33 and I'm going to divide it by 11 to figure out how many uh, students would be represented by each of these rectangles. So 11, 33 divided by 11 is 3. So each of these boxes represents 3 students in that class. So again, to double check to make sure that's right, I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33. So for the number of students in sneakers, I have five groups of three, which is 15. So 15 in sneakers and 18 in boots. Number two, a recipe uh, for chicken marinade says mix three parts oil with two parts soy sauce and one part orange juice. So I have oil, soy sauce, and orange juice. So I have three parts oil, two parts soy sauce, and one part orange juice. Uh, that means I have a total of three six parts. If you need 42 cups of marinade in all, so I need something times six equals 42, um, I would need seven times as much of each of these parts. How much of each ingredient would you need? Well, I need seven times as much of each of these parts. I would need 21 parts oil. I would need 14 parts soy sauce. And I would need seven parts orange juice to complete this recipe. Uh, looking at number three, Elena mixes fruit punch by mixing four parts cranberry juice to three parts apple juice to two parts grape juice. So I need four parts of cranberry and three parts of apple and two parts of grape juice. So that means I have four, seven, nine parts total. Um, if one batch of fruit punch includes four cups of apple juice, or excuse me, includes 30 cups of apple juice, how large is this batch of fruit punch? So all of this together represents 30. So then that means each of those parts must be one third of 30 or 10. So that means I have 10 parts in each of these rectangles. So the whole batch is going to be 10 times as much of each of those parts for a total of 90 parts, or in this case, 90 cups of juice in total of fruit punch. Um, so again, the objective states, I can solve problems when I know a ratio and a total amount. In this case, we used a tape diagram to help us figure that out. Thanks for watching.